Hello world, geriatric geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, the 2nd of April, 2023. It's a beautiful morning here in North Las Vegas. I can't say enough about how nice it is right now. Apparently next weekend we're going to get to the 80s. This weekend we're in the mid-70s. So, uh... It's beautiful, just beautiful here in North Las Vegas. So, hope you guys are doing good wherever you are and staying safe. Uh, today, as you can tell by the uh, um, description, I do have some pickups to show you. Uh, over the last, well, every week, I go to, uh, uh, not every week, I, go, I should, shouldn't say every week, but most every week I go to Savers, and uh, every week I go to a Goodwill, or two, and every week I go to Desiree uh, Industries Thrift Store. Uh, so I picked up a few things that, uh, you know, uh, because I go every week, the turnover is not really that big, I guess, on the movie stuff. So I don't always get as much as I want to sometimes. I would pick up most anything uh, if, uh, if they had it. But they, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of... What can I say? It's just, uh, it's been kind of slim pickings lately. That's that's what I'm trying to get out. Ugh, can't talk this morning. Hope you guys are doing better than I am. Anyway, so let's get started. Let me show you what I have picked up. Also, oh, I went to Big Lots also and found one item that I wanted. I had, uh, uh, this was not $8. It was uh, $4. I had a coupon for half off at Big Lots on uh, Media, so house the season six this is season six i believe it went for eight seasons but this was one of my favorite shows back in the uh it ran from let's see 2000 i believe it was 2007 or 2004 no 2004 ran from 2004 to 2012 so yeah eight years and this is season six i'm trying to fill in all the uh gaps on this one. I love this show. You, Lori, one of my favorite. What an acting job. Of course, if you don't know the story of House, uh, this uh, this was on uh, Fox, ran on Fox, and uh, you, Lori, played a genius doctor that um, had some problems of his own. Uh, specifically, he was uh, hooked on uh, painkillers. He had a, ba a bum leg, and so he took a lot of painkillers, but... Uh, Really good show. If you have not seen it, I definitely recommend this. House. Get ready for a full dose of medical mysteries with 21 episodes of the riveting drama series, House. You, Lori, is joined by James Earl Jones, uh, Laura Preppen, and David Stratham in guest appearances as he returns to his Golden Globe winning and primetime Emmy Award-nominated role as Dr. Gregory House. In this brilliant sixth season, House finds himself in an uncomfortable position, away from the ex examination room, as he works to regain his license and his life. His co-workers deal with the staff shake-ups, moral dilemmas, and their own tricky relationships with House. And when House returns, more obstinate than ever, Princeton Plains Borough Teaching Hospital will never be the same again. Let me know if you've seen House, and if you have, what you thought of it. Like I said, I one of the best shows on TV during that time period. It, it, it just, I loved it. I really did love it. Okay, so I did stop at Savers and picked up a few things. Um, one uh, kind of just looked interesting to me. My wife said she remembers seeing this back in uh, 2003 or 4. Uh, it's PG rated 100, let's see, 96 minutes long. Perfect Strangers. Um, bit of a, I guess it's a drama, romance, thriller kind of thing from what I'm reading. Uh, when Melanie goes home from the pub with the best looking man in the room, she's captivated by his charm and a attentiveness. He sails her away to his castle, a run-down shack on a deserted island, but as his passion becomes obsession 
and romance turns to rage, Melanie realizes that she has been kidnapped. Torn between fear and desire, Melanie must escape her schizophrenic suitor. A moment of panic leads to murder and madness. Melanie's time is running out, but for her perfect stranger, it may already be too late. Hmm. This looks interesting. Let me know if you've seen it down in the comments below. A chilling romance. <laughs> um, who's it got in there? Um, I was trying to remember who the lead is in this, the guy lead. Ay, ay, ay. Looking, looking. Oh, yes. There it is. Sam Neill. I loved Sam Neill. So I, I thought this would probably be pretty good. Sam Neill. Of course, he was in Jurassic Park. I think he plays the, the schizophrenic guy in this. I'm not sure. Okay, next up. I, I think I've seen this movie, but I didn't have it in my collection, so I thought I'd pick it up. Now, these cases are in bad shape. I will replace. If the movie's good, if I want to keep it, I'll replace them. If not, they get donated as is. Distortion. Distortion is uh, 87 minutes long from 2007. It's not rated. It's a crime drama mystery, apparently. Um, looks like a good thriller to me. Directed by and starring Kirk Fogg, who also did Legends of the Hidden Temple. How do you know when you've gone too far? Porters. Porters? Yeah, Porters. Wild Ride begins when his girlfriend, Rachel makes a deal with a sleazy internet porn producer to help bankroll their exit from L.A. While Porter is in a back room with the other, with the other performers, a drugged Rachel performs for the camera. When Rachel is forced to do an objectionable sex scene, she calls out for his help, and a whacked-out Porter makes a futile attempt to rescue her. Instead, he wakes up hours later, left for dead on the banks of the Los Angeles River. When Porter reports Sarah's abduction but to the police, they don't believe his drug-hazed story. So he goes, he goes it alone, relying on his cunning and detective experience to try and save Rachel's life as well as his own. Sounds interesting. Don't, like I said, I thought i have seen this, but I don't remember liking it or not, so I didn't have it in my collection. Now I do. We'll check it out. And uh, another thing I got from uh, Savers, it's one of my favorite genres of horror films. Four films, Vampire Collector's Set. In this one we have Undead Express. Uh, which is 97 minutes long. It's PG-13 from 1996. We have Vampire Wars, 99 minutes, R-rated from 2005. And the last two are probably the reason I picked them up. Um, the first two uh, didn't seem all that great, but uh, the second two, Nadja. Nadja is 92 minutes, black and white, R-rated from 1994. It's a horror drama. But it has Peter Fonda, Peter Fonda as the vampire, one of the vampires. So I, I really wanted to check that out. And the other one, the last one, is The Case of the White Chapel Vampire. 88 minutes, not rated from 2002. It's a Sherlock Holmes film. I thought, what the heck? I, I love Sherlock Holmes and I've never seen that film. So I uh, picked that up. Nadja says, twin brother and sister vampires struggle against each other and the ancient curse that binds them. In this stylish erotic thriller set against the concrete canyons of modern-day Manhattan, uh, starring Peter Fonda, Martin Donovan, and Elina Lowenstrom. The case of the Whitechapel vampire, the scene of the crime is Whitechapel the same London district notorious for the recent attacks of Jack the Ripper. 
Three monks are found dead, the apparent victims of a vampire. Now, someone else is out for blood. Or is it something else? A bizarre events, as bizarre events unfold, the answer is left to Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson to find them. <laughs> yeah, couldn't resist the vampire collector's set. And the last thing I picked up from Savers... I don't remember seeing this one, but it is uh, a previous rental from Hollywood Video. And it stars Carrie Ann Moss, of course, one of my favorites, um, and Big Ben Kingsley. It is Suspect Zero. No, you can't see it for the sticker, but Suspect Zero. R-rated, 2004, 99 minutes. That's a psychological thriller. My favorite, of course, Carrie Ann Moss is uh, from The Matrix, and uh, Ben Kingsley. When tortured FBI agent Thomas McElway is called to in to investigate a series of strange murders, the trail leads to the enigma enigma enigmatic Benjamin Orion. Trained in a secret government program enabling elite agents to telepathically get into the minds of killers, Orion himself is hunting down what he has labeled the ultimate serial killer and manifestation of evil, Suspect Zero. McElway now, re 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 <laughs> McElway now reunited with his former partner, Carrie Ann Moss, must determine at if Orion's ability to identify with the murders has turned him into the very same type of monster he is trying to bring to justice. Could Orion be Suspect Zero? Let me know if you've seen Suspect Zero in the comments below. Suspect Zero. Psychological thriller. My cup of tea. Love it. I'm in. <laughs> Next up. Never seen this movie before. Uh, Heaven help us all win. The Devil's Reign. The Devil's Reign. 86 minutes, 1975, PG rated, supernatural horror. And it stars, or well, doesn't star, um, in a minor role, his first role ever on film, John Travolta. <laughs> That's why I picked this up. John Travolta makes his film debut in, in a minor role. Also has Ernest Borgnine. And a uh, little trivia about this. In, uh, Ernest Borgnine was at a convention, apparently. And he was asked about this movie. And uh, he said that it was financed by the mob. That's right. <laughs> the mafia financed this thing. And he says he never got paid for it. Interesting. But uh, let's see. Devil's Reign, 80, I told you that, 86 minutes, 1975. Three centuries ago, Jonathan Corbus, played by Ernest Borgnine, led a coven of witches. Ancestors to the Preston family had betrayed Corbus and his Satanist by concealing their sacred book in which Corbus had inscribed the names of the people who had given themselves to the devil. For hundreds of years, the Prestons have been able to keep the book from Corbus, and without the book, he is unable to deliver the souls to Satan. Corbus, vowing to avenge himself of his betrayers, begins keeping his promise. Delve into the rituals and practices of devil worship, if you dare. The gruesomely horrifying consequences of Satanism and possession will chill you to the bone. The movie itself will leave you speechless. The ending is one of the most horrifying of any motion picture ever, ever. <laughs> we shall see. Let me know if you've seen this one in the comments below. Devil's Reign. Ernest Borgnine. John Travolta's first role. There he is on the back, right there. <laughs> Alright, next up. Another one from Desiree Industries. The Tooth Fairy. 
the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> Not rated 89 minutes from 2006. Of course, it's a horror thriller. Uh, this is put out by Anchor Bay. I saw Anchor Bay. I thought, you know, for some reason I don't have this in my collection, which is kind of weird. But uh, anyway, we'll check it out and see if it's going to stay. Put a tooth under your pillow and let the bloodbath begin. Northern California, 1949. In the woods outside a small town, a hideous witch lured children to her crumbling home where she stole their teeth, butchered their bodies, and cursed their souls to wander the earth forever. Decades later, the house has, had been converted into a quaint country inn, but an untold evil remains. The witch's slumber has been disturbed, and her vengeful spirit seeks the violent slaughter of all who stay there. And for one 11-year-old girl with a loose molar and an active imagination, the ultimate horror begins with a visit from the Tooth Fairy. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen the Tooth Fairy. I can't really see the... whatever that image is there. It's not... it's kind of creepy, but I can't figure out what it is. Okay, the last thing I picked up also from Desiree Industries. Um, I, I, I enjoyed this movie when I saw it, and for some reason I did not have it in my collection. And somewhere it was $26.99 at one point. Inception. That's right, Inception is 148 minutes long. It's PG-13 from 2010. I saw this in theaters way back when, and uh, I was kind of confused. It's kind of a... Very twisty and turny, and um, for me, it was hard to understand at the time, and I never rewatched it, so I thought, oh, I'll take this opportunity to check that out, Inception. Huh. Doesn't really say what, what's going on in the film, although uh, it's got Leonardo DiCaprio, and uh, so, as I remember, um, they're able to enter people's consciousness and uh, do some strange stuff. Uh, that's all, the only thing I really remember. And there's no description on the back of this thing. So anyway, if you've seen Inception and liked it, let me know what you thought. Got lenticular? Not much of one, is it? says, The Dream is Real. This is really, I thought it was a good movie. I remember seeing it, but I didn't understand it particularly well. So, glad to have it in the collection. We'll check it out. If you've seen it, let me know in the comments below. All right. That's it for this week's um, haul, if you will. Uh, some fun stuff, I think. So, anyway, it's Sunday. Why not give something away? That's what I always say. <laughs> anyway, uh, this week, I'm kind of going to do the same thing I did last week, but um, we're going to um, do the same thing. Whomever wins is going to be able to choose two of these movies for themselves. We have Hereditary, which is opened, however it's, it's meant. Um, I believe I watched it once. But I now have this in that A24 set, so I don't need it separately. So hereditary. You would choose for two of two of these. Doctor Sleep still available. Quiet Place, good movie, still available. All these are the rest of these are all factory sealed. Ten Cloverfield Lane. Open 24 hours. It's a crazy movie there. The 2018 Halloween. Still factory sealed. If you remember or saw my um, horror pack, you'll see that that's where I got this. Um, I already have it. So, Halloween 2018. Still got the digital code, apparently. I don't know if it works. And also... Night of the Animated Dead. That's right. Based on George Romero's uh, 
original movie. So still has the digital code, still factory sealed. Um, all right. So this week, um, this week we use as the code word, um, happy. That's what I am. I'm happy. H A P P Y. Use that in the uh, uh, comment section below. And next Saturday, fingers crossed, we'll uh, do the drawing and use the YouTube comment picker to pick the winner. And I will send whatever two movies you want to you absolutely free, no cost to you. So there you go. So that's it from North Las Vegas. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, Give me a thumbs up. That's right. Like, subscribe. It costs you nothing. Doesn't cost you a darn thing. And hit the notification bell so that you know when I put up another video. Also, I wanted to say to be eligible, you, the only thing to be eligible is you have to live in the USA. That's all. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're staying safe. So keep smiling. Keep having fun. Keep that positive attitude about you. And until next time, peace.